Hey everybody, this is the last of the game. Welcome back to more Pikmin! Yesterday, we got three ship parts from the Force of Hope and discovering a new area called the Forest Naval. And this, yesterday. And today, we're going to go to the Forest Naval. Now, the Forest Naval. The reason why it's named the, called the Forest Naval is because it reminded somebody of a. that might have evil of a belly button. Yeah, only Miyamoto would think of that. Anyways, starting off here, this is actually my least favorite area of the game, and the music could be, They could have done better with the music, not that I don't like it. I do like it a little bit, but I do love the sunset transition of the music there. But, yeah, it doesn't just go well. This is not a country place. Anyways, right off the bat, we're going to take out ten yellows. Leave them alone. And we're going to take out ninety reds. Excuse me, take them out, not ignore them completely. So, yeah. So. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! So. Get up! Jeez. I hate it when Pikmin trip, especially flowers at base. Tripping at base, seriously. Thank God that's fixed in Pikmin 2. It's the only thing. Yeah, that prevents them from becoming overpowered when they're not overpowered at all. And what was going to be overpowered is that originally all Pikmin were going to be able to carry bomb rocks, not just yellows. Thank God they fixed that. Otherwise, yellows would be totally worthless. Oh God. I'm kind of worried about that yellow over there. Looks like he's about to drown. Anyways, that part we're going to hopefully get today. Anyways, later in the game, you're going to want to take that down. Because, believe me, you're going to go through hell if you don't take that down. Okay? You're going to. Anyways. Steve. Anyways, now we're going to... Whistle our Pikmin over here away from those rocks. Maybe that's why their AI is so stupid. Because they hit their heads against rocks. Yeah. Like I said, Pikmin AI. Anyways, here they have the introduction to sheer wigs. They're like sheer grubs, only they can float. Maybe they can fly. And this is the bread bug. Anyways, Pikmin AI! I did not tell them to grab those things. Anyways, there's a fiery blowhog right there. I don't think we'll have any problem taking it out. You know what? Why not? I'll take it out. Anyways, thank god we have reds, otherwise if we just use yellows then, yeah, they would just burn like hell. Burn baby burn, as I would just normally say. Now, we're gonna ignore that fiery blowhog. So, GET UP! Jeez, like I said, I hate it when Pikmin trip. Especially when they can't afford them to. It just wastes too much time. Why could- why couldn't they- why did they even have to do that? I like the endings- it's not that I hate it, I do like the- I like the idea of them tripping, but not when we're in the middle of accomplishing something important. And the bread bug's about to die. Anyways, I'm doing it over here. It's actually my- th So, uh, we got those. Oh, why did I bring them up there? Looks like I brought them up here for nothing. I forgot. We need to take care of this gear. Excuse me. Anyways, now we got that done. Um, I gotta make sure they don't carry any of those shoes. Don't carry the sheer wig. Oh, the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along on its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Hey. Leave the sheer wigs alone. I said leave the sheer wigs alone. Hey, they're so stupid. That's why I hate Pikmin AI. You never... Predict it. Come on. 
try to squeeze through here. He's got that. Thank you for the space float. Absolute necessity for any pirate who lacks skills as swimming in space. Apparently these guys need to- my cool. What are they doing all the way over- uh, No! Pikmin AI! Pikmin AI! I'm not gonna stop repeating. Oh, at least we got that back. Excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my mom. Of course, he says he's an excellent swimmer, but he has it anyway. He is a sucker. I don't care what anybody says. But my mom is always being prepared. He's wearing a freaking spacesuit. Seriously, how is he going to drown a spacesuit? What is that made? What is a spacesuit made of anyway? Paper? <sighs> Jeez. Almar is definitely a sucker. Almar is definitely a sucker. I don't care what anybody says. He's definitely a sucker. Anyways, I'm gonna ha put 20 of these guys away. Not 22 or 23 or 21. 20! <laughs> I like how they were going in the end of the cutscene. <laughs> ah, regardless. Anyways, most of them got D flat. Most of them got... Most of them now buds and leaves now. This is a stupid... Binary bull. Ah, uh, regardless. Oh, wow, they're going fast. I'm surprised we got two of those, those two shit parts done before the new- Wow, I like how that he ran was like- It looked like he was humping the stick. It's like he was humping the bridge. Anyways, speaking of bridge, there is a glitch that I told you in the last episode yesterday that- will make Pikmin go through the ground if they're underneath it. Sa this is the same kind of glitch that happens with the enemies that I was talking about yesterday. It's worse when it goes through under the bridge, because you never control when they're going to go under the bridge. I guess why not? I'm going to take these two down now. Thank God we have reds instead of yellows, otherwise yellows would just die instantly. As opposed to reds where they're just fireproof. Uh, okay, so... Come on, go, go, go. Oh, that enemy right there, where my arrow is. That is my least favorite enemy of the game. That is called a Wally Wog. We're going to have a lot of fun with these Wally Wogs later in the game. Anyways, I want to get these Pikmin flowered. Come on. Game. Give me an extra, please. Please. At least there was a one. How come that guy wasn't in there at all? That guy sucks. I don't care what anybody says. Anyways, I'm gonna have these guys take this bridge down. Will you do? Will you just get over onto the bridge? Stop saying to me, Pikmin AI! Anyways, we're gonna have those yellows take down one of the walls, because we're gonna need that. Then we're just gonna go over to that onion right there. Admittedly, this is my third take of this day. First time, it's because my dad wanted me to have dinner and turn off the Wii. Second, the se my second take, the reason why there was a second take, is because the following clip I'm about to show you happens. Anyways, yeah, thank god you're able to whistle them and they don't have to drop their bomb rocks. Because in the GameCube version... It is scary why how yellow Pikmin just end up dropping their bomb rocks when they're holding them whenever you blow your whistle on them. It is terrifying. Thank God this is fixed here. Huh? What? Only one. Oh. I forgot this needs six. I thought it needed four. Ow. Ow! 
Yeah! All the more reason to be careful with bomb rocks. Especially in the GameCube version. When you whistle Pikmin... When you throw a Pikmin up in the air, and when you whistle them after you throw them, they automatically drop their bomb rocks. Instead of just carry them around like they do in this version. Thank God it's fixed in this version, though. Because I hate it when that happens. It's totally unpredictable. You have to be more cautious with the bomb rock. Why is that... Why are those guys not dropping their bombs? Uh, drop your bomb, idiot! I don't care what anybody says. Pikmin AI! Anyways. Oh, what? You idiot. Get over here. Anyways, I'm going to be putting these guys away. There we go. And now, uh, we're going over here. We can see... Come on, go up. Oh, what do you know they're done? So anyways, over here, we have a blue onion! Yay! And yes, I do know the music. Anyways, there's a blue onion. This is going to sprout into... A blue Pikmin! And look, in it... A lot of people say this. There's something resembling gills on their cheeks. That's actually supposed to be a mouth, not a gill. Even though, I don't know how you would breathe through your mouth instead of a gill. Cheeks appears to be a set of gills. Yeah, this this kind of Pikmin it survives underwater, case in point. Because it's totally submerged underwater. Anyways, yeah. Blues are actually really, really useful later in the game. Probably almost as useful as reds, in fact. No! I was trying to throw it up there, I wasn't trying to call them back. Anyways, I'm gonna take these three down. Okay, so now. I'm gonna take these three and get them over to these pallets. Anyway, so we're going to be getting a lot of Pikmin tomorrow. We just wanted to get this started so we can carry that part back. Because that takes a whopping 50, 25 Pikmin to carry. So yeah, that's the reason why I left all those enemies dead over there. How does Sprout 6 instead of 5? Eh, regardless. Anyways, we got those done. I'm gonna be taking these blues to get the sheer wigs back and get the get the sheer wig back. And I'm also gonna be getting that fiery blowhog that was on. Anyways, okay, so now we got that done. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Anyways, I think that's enough of these blues that are sprouted today. I'm not gonna fly them yet. Apparently, I didn't need to get the fiery blowhog over here. Actually, you really only need 15. I usually just get 25. I keep thinking that we always need 25 pigmen to get those. Apparently, I'm putting three of these away. While these guys are trying to get that third part back to base. What do you know, the fiery blowhog's over there trying to kill those Pikmin when it can't even do a darn thing about it because these guys, those guys are immune to water. Fire. Not water. These guys are immune to water. What the hell am I saying? Seriously, what is wrong with me this year? I've been like this since December of last year. And it is now set. And it's almost October. <laughs> it's found the number one Ionium jet. Fortunately, puts out slightly... Odiferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity at an, in an instant. This stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Apparently it's... Come on. Hey! No discrimination allowed! Hey! You idiots! No discrimination allowed! There we go! 
See, that's what I hate about these Fat Pikmin AI the most. Because they just automatically get discriminated. So now we're gonna go... EXCUSE ME! I didn't know water could be so rude! So now... Now the fiery blowhawk can stay over there, having being useless against those guys. No, these... Those guys just decay overnight, even though the pellets just somehow stay alive. And what do you know, I'm trying to kill- Hey, I'm a puffy bulldog, I'm trying to kill all these Pikmin, but I can't even do a damn thing about them, because I don't know if they're useless, if they're resistant to fire or not. Anyways, what, I, what we want to do for the rest of the day is get this bridge over, because we're going to try to get four ship parts the next time we come here. That's definitely not going to be tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going someplace else. Actually, tomorrow- Actually, yeah, it's going to be another day. I know, Dad. Anyways, I love the transitions part of this song. Just listen to it. Oh! Oh, I was just about to check the map to see where they are, but apparently I didn't need to. Since they're still over there. They'll be automatically going back to their onions on their own. Damn it, just will be in dire straits, so I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. Now I've covered... Yeah, three more. I love that part. Come on, guys, you're gonna make it. Warning, turn your headphones down. Come on, build, build. The power of Christ compels you, you can do it. No, seriously, guys, hurry up. Go, go, go. Oh, crap. What? 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 No! 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 Are you kidding me? They all responded to my whistle! No! You've gotta be freaking kidding me! No! 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 What? God, you gotta be... Wait, what the... Did I seriously leave any behind or no? Okay, hold on. Stop for one second and go back and watch it. There weren't any Pikmin with Olimar when they arrived back at base, but none of them arrived at base when they took off. What do you think happened? Seriously. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Oh. Huh? Okay. I'll take that. Okay. Wow, this must be some weird glitch I don't even remember. Anyways, now after my freak out, I think I'm going to end this video off. So, next, yep, tomorrow on Pikmin. We're going to go back to the imp. Actually, yeah. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to the impact site after having my freak out. See you guys then.